Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you here with us and pray you will be blessed. Sit back for the next two hours and enjoy while we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing, pray, and read the Bible in support of one another on our journey of faith. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer request and praise reports. You may call us at 606-464-4250 anytime during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Sister Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our studio and the service tonight. We hope you kind of got your work caught up so you can just sit down and stay with us a while and we'll get our mind on the Lord and on the good things He's done for us and on the things that we are waiting for Him yet to do. But we have, we could spend all of our time just thanking Him for how merciful that He has been to each of us. And so, so we know that... Um, that everyone that you meet has, they're fighting a battle. Everyone's is different. Sometimes it's sickness, sometimes it's death, sometimes it's uh, a lot of other things that's going on with families. But, but we know that the Lord is faithful to, to be with us and He understands us. That is a good thing. You know, you might try to tell your best friend what's ailing you, as we'd say, but they might, they might think that you, some of it's a put on or they might not really believe that uh, that's what it is and they could misunderstand you. And then so there comes some hurt feelings when, you, when you're misunderstood. But one thing about it, the Lord, He knows all about us. He was the one who put us together. He knows our emotional state, our spiritual, our physical, and all of them together. And He knows how to minister to us. That's the good thing. We can safely and confidentially go to him knowing that he's going to take care of us and knows how and so for you that have, are shut in and kind of getting a little uh, weary of so much of this uh, uh, stay home business well we hope that you'll get encouraged tonight and that you'll see some, uh, some light at the end of the tunnel because nothing stays the same and so we will see some difference in everything. Well, first, we want to read some scripture for you because we have uh, some singing coming up that you will want to stay tuned. Uh, from the book of John in the New Testament, uh, we want to read this first chapter, uh, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the, life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of that light and all men through him might believe he was not that light but was sent to bear witness of that light that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not he came into his own and his own received him not but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory and the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The first 15 verses of uh, St. John and talking about about the light Jesus being our light and I think uh, I think we're going to hear more about that in the service and so uh, 
we have uh, we have some prayer requests already in. Now Dottie is up there with uh, her her few uh, phone operators, and um, she will take your call if you if you want to call. We have we have a number of things we want to. Uh, it's already been mentioned tonight. We uh, in Lee County there was a little ten year old boy accidentally shot to death uh, today, and um, and we have other other deaths that we'll mention uh, perhaps a little later. But uh, uh, today we visited my nephew, Danny Paul, and he has lung cancer. And uh, it's not a good report the doctors is giving him right now, but he, uh, uh, he knows uh, how to call on the Lord. And we're praying for his healing, and that's all we can do. Cecilia from Moorhead, uh, said it's a praise report said all of her tests came back good and here's a lady that is called and said uh, that she's had trouble stress and other issues in her home for years and she's got a lot of health problems now and she just overloaded and needs some relief from Johnson County a lady um, has called for her family and some uh, grandchildren and then we have this one from Corbin for prayer for severe stomach virus and a lot of pain and waiting for the Lord to heal. And then we have uh, for, um, uh, you know, like I've said, we did not get to have our spring telethon, but a lot of our friends have gone ahead and sent uh, their gifts in. And today we uh, received a gift from Bobby D. Hudson and uh, over Berea Way, and uh, we appreciate that so much. And then there's prayer requested for his mother-in-law, Donna Weaver. So I appreciate those that are uh, sending in to help us uh, keep things going. But let's pray right now before the singers come. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you for your goodness. We thank you for salvation. We thank you the difference that it makes in our life. And it it takes us from one world to another. And so, Lord, we <laughs> thank you for those that have been saved and blessed through this ministry. We pray that you'll bless the, the faithful ones tonight. Some of them uh, say they listen every night. So give them a blessing that they need tonight. Encourage them. And, Lord, let us hear of someone else praying to have you in their heart tonight. We ask you to uh, bless and heal these that we have mentioned and the ones that will be calling. Lord, bless our uh, guests and our phone operators. We're here to try to be a blessing, try to help someone. So, Lord, without your help, we can't do anything. So we give the service to you now in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Tonight we are happy to have with us uh, Glory Land Baptist uh, Church. Um, and they'll... Uh, uh, they have a phone number, 859-624-3023. And so here's uh, uh, Pastor Cecil Burns and part of his group. Praise the Lord. You know, Sister Ward, we miss uh, Velma and Wilma back, Mount Sterling. A lot of them, Roger, Ann. But you know what? As long as they want to keep the numbers down, I believe we need to open obey that because God is good and he's a mighty God he loves us to the end and you know there's a little guy down in Cumberland uh, Carl Johnson wanted to sing his song out to all alone and broken hearted trying to calm this raging battle in my mind I was searching for the end my poor heart can't seem to find Then I saw I am warm. He gives 
gives me a place to lay my burdens. He gives me refuge from the storm. A place where I can trade my dark skies to a beaming ray of sunshine.
You know, it's good to know that we got people out there, Sister Margaret, that's hungering for a song or comforting word. And you know, just like that little guy down in uh, uh, Tennessee, uh, you know, he wanted to come out of darkness. I believe today the darkness uh, is shattering over, but glory to God. Uh, you know, the Bible teaches me, as you're talking about John, come out uh, uh, to bear witness of that light. Uh, we're not the light, but there's something inside of us tonight going on. Uh, I can feel the power and the love of a living God because He'll never let us down. He's always our force. And you know, I want to send out a song uh, to the terrace down there where my sister on was at. She used to stand right there and sing with us. But you know what? I hope she's got it tuned in today. You know, you can't hardly get in the nursing homes right now with kind of that virus. That darkness, I call it. But there's something shining tonight. I believe that light is real. How many believe that light is real? If you're listening out there tonight, He's a big God. He's a loving God. He'll never let you down. God is good. Yes, He is. He's good all the time. My God is good. I know yes, He is. He's good all the time. Search a whole world over, no greater friend you find. He's not good just once in a while, he's good all the time. What a say you are, he's good, yes he is, he's good all the time. Oh my God, he's good, yes he is, he's good all the time. He can search the whole world.
we could do without Him. You know, this is a time. Listen to me, folks. Uh, this is a time the Bible teaches me in Matthew 24. It's a time as in the days of Noah. The Bible is going to be fulfilled no matter what we say or do. All we can do is have it light. We're not looking through a glass darkly, Sister Margaret, but we need to look plainly. As a blind man, he couldn't see, and he just kept hollering. He said, who is that man? Somebody said, Jesus. And you know what? He went to, he went to hollering, Jesus. Now, not only was he blind physically, but spiritually he was blind. And you know, they didn't really want Jesus to have nothing to do with him. I pray people like ain't like that out there today. I believe everybody, you may worship in a different way. You may sing in a different key. But one thing about it, honey, there's one God, one faith, and one baptism of all. We may be in dark times out there, but you know what? I believe I feel that light tonight. As Pastor Paul was on the Damascus Road when the light shined upon him. And he said, Is that you, Lord? And you know what? That's the way we were to be today. It may be, I know all this stuff going on. Oh, in the cities. My brother called me the other day and said, What are we going to do, brother? I said, Let's pray. Let's pray. I believe there's power in prayer. How many believe there's power in prayer? You may be down, you may not be able to go to church. But, honey, don't, hey, hey, if you're out there tonight, you hear me. I, I know the Bible's real. I know it's coming to pass. Or, or I, had, I wouldn't be preaching it 37 years uh, and telling people God so loved the world He gave His only begotten Son. Whosoever, now come on, believe in Jesus Christ shall not perish but have everlasting life. You know what that light is? That's the light inside that will help us see further and farther if we want to see. I want to see what's going on. No matter how dark the night gets, no matter how dark the day gets, no matter what this virus does or the writing does, you know what He is? We are the light of the world. A city that cannot be hid. How many believe that? You know, hey, hey, there's somebody tonight like that little guy. <laughs> I'm trying to think of that city in Tennessee. Oh, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. But one thing about it, uh, you know what? He wanted out of darkness. And he said, Preacher, can you get me out? I said, No, the Lord can get you out. The Spirit of God is powerful today. And folks, hey, hey, you may think you, you may not have been in church two or three months, uh, couldn't get there and kind of the virus, uh, but you may be backslidden. Uh, hey, 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 if you don't... If, there's, if you don't have joy in you, the joy is the Word of God. He said, ask Him we shall receive. And go by faith and call. There's people in that upper room wanting to hear from you tonight. Because I feel the goodness. You may be slow with God and saying, I don't feel Him like I used to. Call Him. Let Him pray with you. We'll pray right over the air for you. Because He's a big God. This little side of mine. I'm going it try. Oh, this
I got a brother out there, Brother Darrell. He's watching tonight. I'll send him out a song. You know, folks, there's people out there hungering tonight, and they're thirsting for the right way. You know, the Bible teaches me, Brother Don, the path is near and straight, and few there will find it. Somebody says, well, preacher, I can't give up. I can't make it because I can't live it. Folks, you can't live without that light in your heart shining, crying, Abba, Father. That light, ask Apostle Paul about that light. When he was on the Damascus Road, all the rest of them fell over. And Paul, he knew it was the light from heaven. Folks, I'm telling you, we're in times now. We may be right in the revelation. That's okay. He said, Blessed is he that readeth and understand the prophecy of this book. Why wouldn't everybody want to go to heaven? I, I, I don't know why they wouldn't want to go to heaven. I'm going to make it. Praise God, I'm going to make it. How many here is going to make it? I've got to make it. Because folks, it's going to get, the Bible said, I'm not being gloom and doom now, I'm bringing you the truth. That the, it's going to get wax worse and worse. Many hearts are going to fail. Many people are going to be a great fall in a way, but don't let that be you. Cry out tonight. Call. Get on your phones and call up. I like Sister Mark said, this ain't telethon time. Oh, because we couldn't have one. But there's still people giving. Oh, glory to God. There is no price on a soul. There's no price. And we've seen healings of cancer. We've seen healings of sugar diabetes. We've seen people get up and walk out of intensive care and they said they couldn't do it. That's what God is doing. If we just asked Him, ask and you shall receive it. Amen. mad at this one or mad at that one. I know Sister Mark teaches on unforgiveness a lot. But you know what, folks? Listen to me. There's nothing like having a clean heart. I want that clean heart. You know how you know if you've got a clean heart? It's clean. You know? And you can pray for people. You get a hold of the Lord. If you're out there right now, you hear me. Shut your eyes and say Jesus and see if you can see a light. See if you can see a light. And say, Lord, forgive me. Somebody, somebody wants this right now. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart, Lord, and be that light. Just come into this heart, Lord. I believe. I believe you're a Jesus that died on the cross and rose again. And I believe you're alive. And you're going to be alive in me because I want to live, Lord. I want to be a conqueror. 
through you that strengthens me. Do you know, he, you know, there's people out there. I know somebody said that prayer call in now. And listen, you may be backslidden. Bible said, come on back to me. <laughs> for you are married unto me. And you know what, folks? Listen, uh, since I, Sister Marcus, since 84, the Lord showed me what He could do with me. I, I've never wanted to go back. No, you can't push me back. <laughs> It'd be like pushing me off a cliff. No, I, I'd, be, <laughs> I'd, I'd be like a goat. I'll just hang on. Because it's so important that I tell you how much God loves you. I know it was a love. praising him tonight because they see all this stuff going on people burning stuff and going on you know so many over a hundred thousand I think it is but Don it's already that virus has took out of the U.S. but you know what folks why wouldn't you listen now why wouldn't you when you take your last breath want to go in the arms of Jesus you're going to anyway listen to me I'm not gloom and doom but I'm telling you of a spirit that will put a light in you that lets you know. The Bible said by the Spirit you'll know if you're saved or lost. And, and you know what? I, I feel that right now that somebody out there said, I have slipped away. <laughs> well, come on now. Come on, call up her and, and, and tell her you want to come back to him. Hey, hey folks, we can't put her... I got a little friend out there and I won't mention your name, but they really got hurt by preachers. And you know what? I don't want, I don't want that on my conscience. I, I don't want to hurt nobody. I, I, I want to help somebody along this old way. Because, folks, it's, it's getting too late in the season. Glory to God. You can see, we done way down in Matthew 24. We done seen all this stuff come to pass. But now we're seeing a great falling away. Now, come on, now listen to me. If you once had Him, why wouldn't you want that goodness and that love and that joy and that peace, that meekness and kindness and forgiveness in your heart? Wouldn't that be great? You know, I believe. I, I told someone, you know, I, I, I'm in Revelation. I read some in there. I don't preach much out of Revelation. But one thing about it, <laughs> He tells me that it's closing in. I'm, I'm not telling you He's coming back today or tomorrow. I don't know the time of the hour. But I know one thing. I want to be ready for myself when He calls me home, I want to be ready to go. And you don't know, folks. You don't know from hour to hour. But one thing about it, we're not in darkness. We're in that marvelous light of Jesus. Ain't that good to be in the light? I love that light. How many likes that light? How many knows? And, and you know, i got a little friend out there. David Pig, I'm going to send you out a song, honey, because you're a good friend of mine. And you know, having some issues. But you know what? God, God's bigger than them issues. I believe, he, I believe He can take us through. And, 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 you know, we can have friends and not see them too often. 
but they still be her friends. Amen. Because Margaret's got many friends, uh, you know, that she just, they call in and they talk to her. But folks, listen to me. If you've got something to give, what better place? We're going to see somebody because the Spirit is working with us and you're going to see somebody call in Sister Margaret and give their heart back to the Lord or come out of that cold situation they're in. Folks, listen to me. Hey, 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 hey. This ain't no game we're playing. This is a spiritual thing that God loves you and He's waiting for you to call on His holy name. Somebody told me the other day, you don't have to repeat after me. No, you don't have to repeat after nobody. But you need to show people the way. You need to tell them how to get a hold of this light that we're speaking and singing and talking about. Is say, Lord, Lord, hey, hey. Lord, forgive me. Come into my heart. Let me have that light, Lord. I, I know the way things are happening. Folks, uh, you know, He tells us uh, His promises is real. And He tells us this generation... This generation and the generation behind it, uh, uh, we've got to be that light, uh, Sister Margaret, to the, to the younger people. We've got to be that light to one another. Uh, uh, but one thing, I feel good tonight uh, uh, that God is in the midst. But Dave, we're going to send you out this song. Amen.
friend out there? Wally, you got it. Yeah. Wally Coffee. Wally's Coffee. He's got to get well because he shoes my horses. <laughs> We're going to pray hard for you, Wally. And many others out there. You know, my brother Dale. I, I love you out there. We're, we're asking God to bless. You know what? I believe the You know what? The Bible is so real, Sister Margaret. The Bible teaches me. And you know, yeah, yeah I'm from the mountains. <laughs> yeah, but He teaches me. I got a big rock I go to pray to. But you know what? Listen to me. Listen to me. He teaches me real plainly where there's two or three gathered in His name. He's in the midst. I, hey, hey, if I, could, if, I could, if I could have surrendered, Sister Margaret, if somebody would have told me about this Jesus when, when I was rodeoing in Arizona and running wild, you know, I believe I, I'd have fell down and listened to him. But nobody told me. Folks, it may be a cold, dark world out there, but hey, hey, I want to tell you, He loves you. There's no better life. Glory to God. I'm getting well per close to 100. <laughs> and you, you know what? You know what? I feel better today than I did yesterday. I'm going to feel better tomorrow than I do today. Why? He loves me that much. He's that light. Uh, when you're in darkness, uh, the flesh is in darkness. But there's something inside you if you want it. Crying, Abba, Father. Wally, we're going to sing you this song. This is always his song. Well, I said a little way over God. What do you think I see? I know I see my Jesus. Thank you.
the Glorland Baptist Church from Berea, Kentucky. The phone number is 859-624-3023. And uh, if you'd like to get in touch with them. We have a number of calls here we want to acknowledge. Uh, Betty uh, from Lexington has called in for Christina. Uh, there was a... Uh, but that was killed in a car accident Sunday morning, was only 21, uh, or for rather, for Kristen. Um, he was killed in a car accident Sunday morning. He was only 21 years old, and to pray for the family, says she loves us all and watches every night. Betty from Lexington. Thank you, Betty. We have this one from Mount Sterling from John Wayne, uh, Aaron, and some others. Uh, Aaron, uh, for 41, 41 years, uh, he uh, he is he is sober now, and it's all due to uh, Brother Cecil. And uh, so he wanted him to know that uh, his ministering had worked for him. Amen. And here's a really uh, uh, a sad, but it's one full of potential for the Lord to heal. A lady is called from Sayersville. I will not share her name. Um, but uh, she said she was abused as a child, and she's still being abused verbally all the time. Bless and, her heart. And But, you know, she wanted some help. She wanted the Lord to help her, so she rededicated her life Praise to the, the Lord. Lord tonight. So bless your heart. And remember now, the Lord can heal your memories as well as the physical abuse. He can heal our memories and help us. And so just ask him to do all yes, of Lord. this for you. Sister Mark, that's good. Yes. And so because he he knows it takes a lot to make a whole person. Thanks, know? Dottie. And uh, so we uh, we need to let him heal us. All right. We mentioned that we um, uh, some of our friends are still sending in money to help us uh, keep the ministry yeah. going. Yeah. Well, here is a friend from Fayette County that has want the name with help, but they're sending in five hundred dollars. Praise the Lord! Thank you so much. That's what much. we're talking about, Thank Sister Martin. Thank you. Yes, and God's good. And from Lexington, uh, another person has sent in fifty dollars and loves WLJC. All right, that's really great. Lexington, Jimmy, uh, pray for his mom and dad. Uh, Louise from Pulaski County, pray for Jason. He has cancer. And a lady from uh, Laurel County, one from Knox County for her family. See, this is the, the number one prayer request is for families. Yes, come on, that's good. Uh, here is one from Pulaski for a someone named Margie. And Andrew and Mary from Mount Sterling. The Stevens Bless family them, from McCreary County. Donald uh, from, and his family from Somerset. Uh, Billy from Mount Vernon, Wallace from uh, Mount Vernon and needs prayer. And uh, we have... Uh, Can we sing that song for you? Uh, oh, was that who it was? Yeah, Wally Coffee, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, here is uh, a, some, a granddaughter that has uh, a lot of... A, a broken foot and she's in a lot of pain and has two small children. Bless her and, Lord. Uh, so she needs uh, healing. Elsie has called uh, for uh, someone. Oh, they've had the virus test, and that's from Corbin. Uh, Betty from uh, has called for Willie uh, that has cancer. Robert broke shoulder. He's in the uh, he's in the uh, Baptist Health in Lexington, I guess. Uh, Elsie from Liberty, diabetes and other things. And uh, let's see, Diane from uh, Bath County wants to pray for us to pray for the world and all the lost people yes lord and, uh, the families that and that this virus will go away well so far it has not and it's still uh, very much a threat to everyone so we must do what we can to uh, stay safe ida from rock castle uh, copd and she's smothering tonight pray for her husband Bless her, lord. a lady from scott county is in a lot of pain tonight patricia from uh, Perry County for Elijah that has bone marrow marrow uh, cancer, and uh, Earl and Goldie is called from Madison County. Uh, here's uh, someone; he's in his 90s and has uh, dementia. Uh, Bless him, Lord. From uh, Harlan, 
a bug for Ruby and Willie, Mary from Knott County Health Issues, and Laurel County Unspoken Requests. You, got you know, it. Sister Mark, we've had some rededications. Mm -hmm. And there are going to be more rededications, too, because, mm -hmm. that, that you, you know, you've been in this light for mm -hmm. a long time. And, and, and we get rewarded by souls, and, mm -hmm. and people see the work that's going on here. Mm -hmm. And that's reading to give. Right here is a, this little Tennessee man warned out of darkness and give his heart to the Lord. Oh, Amen. And, and, you know, right here, Janie uh, from Knock County, uh, give her heart to the Lord. And mm -hmm. I, I feel a good spirit uh, moving yes, because yes. Uh, people listen to me. People is wanting something real. Yes. They're, they're, and Sister Margaret, mm -hmm. I, I know we got to pray, but you know, there's nothing no more real than he told Nicodemus when Nicodemus didn't believe him. Hey, he said, Nicodemus, where the wind is, I'm going to be there. Where the wind is listening, you might not see it. I mean, you might not see the Lord Almighty, but you can see the creation. Hey, let him put that light inside you. And I've already preached, Sister Mert, so I guess we'll go ahead with them, Mary, and we'll pray. Oh, yeah, we're running out. Uh, Lester from Menifee County, uh, his wife's had several strokes. The Henson family, uh, Linda from Harlan, the Deaton family, and uh, uh, the uh, Shirley from Mount Vernon, Elizabeth from Pulaski, uh, Cameron family, and uh, also Linda from Harlan, uh, Sylvia from Pulaski, open heart surgery, and is in recovery right now, and uh, Raymond from Pulaski, one from Danville, and one from Montgomery County. And then we, uh, we heard today, we were really sorry to hear that uh, Ruth Smith, uh, Jim, uh, Jim Smith's wife has passed away. Well, bless you, Jimmy. We're and praying for you, buddy. So and you know, we're going to anoint these with yes. oil. We're going to call on the mighty yeah. hand of the Lord. The Bible teaches us in the little book of James, anoint with oil and pray. Put yeah. your hands this way and help me pray yes, because I believe it's so important. Uh, yes. Fathers, we come into your mighty loving name. We're praying over all these prayer oh, requests Jesus. and the ones that's called in. I feel a good spirit and I know it's you, Lord. Uh, you're the one we love and trust in. Bless those people, yeah. Lord, uh, that's in darkness. Uh, bless those people with cancer because cancer, you got to flee in the name of Jesus. Uh, I believe you can do all things, uh, and we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Uh, I feel good now, Lord. Uh, thank you for these souls uh, uh, that got that light inside them. Uh, and there's many out there listening tonight. Help them give, Lord, uh, and a time to keep these lights on on this station uh, where we can keep on preaching your gospel. Your gospel is, uh, you died on that cross, you rose again, and you're alive right in here tonight, and out there everywhere, the beauty you've got. Thank you, Lord, for it all. In Jesus' name, mighty name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, I think some more has come down. I don't know if we'll get them in time to mention them tonight, but if we don't, we will next time. But a lot of folk are really standing in desperate need of yes, prayer. Yes, they are, Sister Margaret. And we need not let the darkness of this world right. overtake Amen. us as That's Christians good. because we are in a different world than Amen. they are That's in. right. That's right. And so we... Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, Don's getting getting in a hurry to get get the request up here. Thank you. <laughs> he really. All right, from Pulaski County, someone having a lot of pain in their knees. Uh, from London, uh, Phyllis, and another offering sent in by Richard Henson, forty dollars. Thank Praise you so the Lord. much. Yes, that is so good. We appreciate uh, all that uh, has been that has been called in and appreciate you knowing that this ministry is for you and others that's like right, that. Sister and that's why if you when you give, you can be you are being a part of every good thing that happens. Yes, Lord. And we are out of out of time. <laughs> and yes. so to preach about our money. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just want to preach about our sister. Well Lord. we'll <laughs> I don't we'll have, have to tonight. <laughs> and we'll we'll have to take a Take that another night, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate everyone calling and, and uh, praying and looking to the Lord for your help. That song that is out right now, All My Hope is in Jesus. I love that song because it's so yeah. true. That's the only place we have to go to. That's the only place we can get our help. We're out of time. From all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest program.